Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, November 12th. As usual, Premier will start off giving an overview. Dr. P has a statement um, and is going to speak about the next steps on Nunavut's path. Um, then we'll get into questions. One question, one follow-up, please. Um, remember to keep distance. I know there are a few of us in the chamber today. And if you can have your question ready to go so we don't lag, that would be great. Um, and finally, Minister of Health Kusugak will um, end things off. He has a statement prepared as well. Thanks so much. November 12. Man, I'm going to take it to the Kauai Nakino Mangat, Unikangi Lunga Hoktu, Lotunga Takwa, Nuban Naya Hoktu, Katingangitu, Takwa, Nuban Naya Talo, Ilako, Sotit, Anya Dilo, Nuban Naya Talo, Ilako, Sotit, Katingangitu, Matakwa, Nuban Naya Hoktu, Pilari Marungitu, Matakwa, Kinameo Hoktana, Potako, Pilari, Pilari, Hadla Tanguyu, Tana, Hulingito, Manam Mangito. Amaman now your Nunavu muti would a Pahit singiluta, Ino Katip in it, a Katakter singiluta, than Nuvan Naria Hartu, Nuvan Naria Tawang allowed, a act of Luiguang in Marsuti, Ino Katikit in Nunavu mutinut, Takwa Ikayok to Hinalabu, Kawi manning it looted, Ubalu, but to Homa to Homa Hinalutitako, Nikatangilu, Kawi get Chartaluti, Unikawan Rowi. I'm <laughs> Inu kati tini nunda nunda tak kati tini kamat cia waktu itu nak lagi cia dia buat ama mianer cia ni waktu kau ini mayung am tanah nunda angu lekto ilah nunda pun muda tanah nunda pun nak jual tiha mata nunda angu yo kira ni tanah nunda pun nak jual nunda angu itu tak ko kena demi ama hilal jual mita ko kanu inu hut ni aktu yang mengat kau ini mana kau lekap tak tak ko อันเนี่ยอันเนี่ยนะครับดูวัคซีนนะครับไอ้หิมาลุติปีเลยอยากตั้งยิ่งลุติอุบลเล็กตั้งยิ่งลุติไอ้หิมาเมียลุติอ่
we are sending positivity to Sanikiloa and Rankin Inlet. Nunavut has three confirmed cases of COVID-19. The total number of persons followed to date is 3,944. There are currently 666 persons still being followed. Without compromise any personal information, I can say that this, I can say this, there are no links between our confirmed cases. The positive cases are not exempted or critical workers. Anyone who implies or says otherwise is wrong. This kind of blame serves no purpose. It definitely doesn't help people with COVID or our communities. Please stop spreading misinformation and rumors and needlessly attacking people. Your energy is better used trying to maintain public health measures and staying up to date with the facts. No one wants COVID-19 and, no and no one deserves to be blamed. I know this is very uncertain times and I know there's a lot of people who may feel overwhelmed or scared. I know it's tiring. I also know that Nunavut Mir are caring, thoughtful and are community minded. This means that we now need to step up more so than ever and be compassionate and careful more than before. Nunavut is not alone in the struggle to fight COVID-19, but we are new to this. Unlike the rest of the world, we are only starting to deal with the impacts of COVID in our jurisdiction. We need to act responsibly and be strict with our public health measures. There is, this is not an option, it is absolutely critical. Please wash your hands, practice social and physical distancing. When you are outside your home, even with your family members who live outside your household, always, always stay home if you are sick. Call the COVID hotline if you feel like you may have been exposed to COVID-19, 1-888-975-8673. And it'll, it is operational between 10 and 6 Eastern Standard Time. Every single one of us has an important role to play. Your actions impact everyone's health. Let's stop the potential spread and care for one another. Thank you. Good morning. Yesterday we announced a COVID-19 positive test in Rankin Inlet. The individual presented to the health center with mild symptoms late last week and this person is doing well and is isolated. Based on the timing of the symptoms, we believe that the person became infectious around November 5th. Contact tracing is underway. As of today, the number of contacts identified is too few to report but we know the number will grow in coming days. All high-risk contacts will be isolated at home and low-risk contacts will be asked to monitor for symptoms. We also announced several public health measures meant to limit the spread, or pardon me, meant to limit the potential spread in the community. This information is available online at www.gov.nu.ca. Ula sa kut ipatsap na luna yung sila wakat ano ba juan na nineteen handing anik na luna yata usum ayo mikaw yung sao tiko kang sinong me tana upagut yung mene an na abing ane hanu igut yung galatun ay pinasa ako siyulo to nungwani tana hanu ingitok amalo ane tele tita ulak to tako kang ako sumaning ane hanu igut yung kapalayalak na mene ngaso la yung sakto ng tana sa magbio ni ning anik November five ng tilugo katiya mene ngin ne kaw yung sakpalayal sao tigil to Ulu mi pigi aktu ni ta ko hat sini kati sisi mamanga hat sini na ulang atau kau sri jang ita bu. Kese ni ta ko amesong pelaya ni aktu ulu galau ni aktu ni. Ta ko ulu galau ni aktu ni nak saya kati sisi mayang ni ta ko ani teli kau jau ni aktu ani kangin ni. Ta ko ulu ulu galau ni aktu ni ingin nak saya kati jamin ni ingin kau esak pelaya kau jau ni aktu kangin ni kutu hak pelaya lingi kalau amang ata. Galau ni aktu sisi mami kata jigi ingin tu ni ane hak nangit tu lagi nama malik tau galim ni. Ta ane saya mau pelaya lekun nagu nuna ngan ni. Takut tu kisah dia aku dia tu nak yang harus saya kut uvani www.gov.nu.ca. 
We are also asking anyone who has traveled from Rankin Inlet since November 5th to self-monitor for symptoms for 14 days after leaving the community. We advise non-essential travel is not recommended at this time. In Sandy Kilowack, the two confirmed cases are doing well and remain in isolation. The 11 contacts I identified as of Monday have been swabbed and test results came back negative. An additional 27 tests have been done and all results are negative. Contact tracing and isolation continues with the end goal to prevent community transmission. Testing will continue as, uh, as deemed appropriate. Dakota, Aperig Maya would come at Kanya Sinner Ming Arsimayot, November five minute, Namene Kari Sachar Lugit, Hanuigo to Haling, Hanuigo to Haling Nikolama, Nik fourteen, Nik Tavangal or Tiluin, Rodiga Kogopi Marungi to Nik, Aula Hatahoina, Tatiki Hatahoina, Tahman Noyo, Sanikilo Amita, Kamako, Naluna Tosimayo, Hanuing it to Kamalo Suliani, Tailit Toyo. Tako eleven was in my Kati Yamini in Aluna Tolo to Naka Jaumi, Hawi Sarat sang in Nik Tako Alo Hawi Saruti meaning Itako, Peter hang in Naratolo to Nova German. Hakaning a good one is having Nik Hawi Sato, you have some Mayor Tako, Aluna Luna Tos, my in now Lutic, Nova German to hang in Ningani. Katisima young in Nik Suli Hawi Sapaliot, a Maluani tail it, it's a you Suli, Tako to Ragasutic, Nunalini, Serma Palia Titsi tail in a moon. Today, I would also like to announce new measures on Nunavut's path. Out of, <coughs> pardon me, out of an abundance of caution and until the situation in Rankin Inlet is stable, we will be reinstating certain measures in the rest of the Kivalik region as well as Iqaluit. Schools in the Kivalik uh, region outside of Rankin Inlet and schools in Iqaluit have been advised to remain open and follow the Department of Education's opening plan for Nunavut schools. All food establishments in the Kivalik region outside Rankin Inlet and in Iqaluit may remain open for on-premises dining, delivery and takeout service. Seating capacity may be no greater than 50 people or 50% of the regular seating. There must be at least two meters separation between tables and between persons in line for takeout or counter service. There shall be no more than six people seated at or congregating near a table. Food service establishments may continue to establish their own hours for on-premises takeout and delivery services. Licensed premises uh, it may remain open for regular business hours subject to any applicable licensing conditions and physical distancing should be observed at all times. Malik Taugali, Kival Lerme, and Maloe de Halone. Illinair Bait, Kival Lerme, Kayer Seneo Silatani, and Malo Illinair Bait, a Halone, how Jogar to Matuina in Nahoya Lutic, Malit Serlotic, Illinair Nelerico, Matur Palan and Mopernauting and Nuna Vum Illinair Bingino. Neribilimat, Kival Lerme, Kayer Seneo Silatani, and Malo Halone, Soli, Matuina Gunnartu, Illuani, Nerevio Gunnartic. I cheer at Tarlotic and Malo, and it's a view at Tarnalotic near an artangini. It's a barbeo you not to fifty or tano semagar to Gerhang it to below fifty percenting it at a co in Ogiga Yutang it a hatch you get hanging in. Marco Nick two meters Nick Taco, Ungas in Nigi Gale, Sang it, Nerivu Nartilugit, and Malo Taco, Utaki Hatatilugi, and it's a sort of Lugin near an artamini. Six Ungatani hang it to Taco, it's a bar hat to cut him no you lone it sang in me. Nehita beat Suli, Akitsiguna to Namini, Ikakang in Nick, and Malo, and it's Hataro Narlotti, Upalo, Niang, Ariao, you know, Arts Hataro Narlotti. License her to Yut Emir beat, Matuina Gunnartu, Ikakangi, Mali Lugin, Kisani Maligia Harlotti, license silly, Maligia Ling in Nick. Inu hatigil lo taku ha ay sakto ng nagali tay manggalima kanigit tay lagi ang ninyo. 
All organized uh, public gatherings shall be restricted to 50 people for outdoor gatherings, five people in private dwellings in addition to household members, other facilities used for community events or meetings including places of worship are to be limited to 50 people or 50% of the rated capacity for the facility as established by the Office of the Fire Marshal. Non-essential travel is not recommended. Anyone who develops flu-like symptoms is asked to contact the health center or the COVID-19 hotline immediately. Uh, government offices are to remain open and government services will continue as normal. If Nunavumiut have questions around testing or any other public health, pardon me, public health measures, I ask that they direct them to the COVID-19 hotline. Thank you. Kent School APTN National News. Uh, Dr. Patterson, what can you tell us about the recent travel history of the patient in Rankin Inlet? Uh, at this point, we're not going to discuss that. Other Canadian jurisdictions frequently give out that information in the case of a new COVID case. Why is your office opting not to? Two reasons. One, in some of the cases, we may not be certain how um, how important the travel history is, and the other one is that there's a lot of concern and uh, rumors being spread about exempted travelers versus other travelers, and we don't want to get involved into that. The important part is that we do the work needed to break transmission, and that's what we're concentrating on right now. We do recognize that there's concern and people are legitimately wondering if there's things that could be done differently to reduce the risk of this happening again. In right now, as I said, our priority is uh, doing what's needed to break transmission. If in the process of that we can figure out what happened and how we can modify other procedures, uh, we will do so and when that happens we'll be as transparent as we can be. Um, so we'll, we'll get those answers when we can, but right now we're focusing on breaking transmission.
Emma Trancher, the Canadian Press. Given the positive case in Rankin Inlet, what's the status of our travel bubble with the NWT? Emma Trancher, Canadian Press, Right now it's open. We are not uh, considering putting restrictions on people coming from Northwest Territories at this point in time. There is the possibility that the Northwest Territories could require Nunavumia to isolate on arrival, but they haven't done so yet. So it's, it's joint decisions or decisions by both uh, territories could impact that. But at the moment, just to be clear, at this moment, the bubble, the common travel area is open. Can you give us some more information about why the decision was made to put schools in Apalawid at stage two? Because the Kaluit is on a direct flight path with Rankin Inlet and because there is some increased medical travel back and forth because of some of the services that might otherwise have been delivered in Winnipeg have been shifted to here. Jackie McKay, CBC News. Given where the positive cases have been, is there any concern that there might be a leak or uh, the isolation hubs in Winnipeg aren't working as well? Jackie McKay, CBC News. We don't know enough to say for sure if it is or isn't part of the problem at this point, so it's a possibility. It may also be just an indication of uh, or a result of the uh, incidence of, of COVID-19 in Winnipeg being fairly high. <coughs> But again, if we, in the course of contact tracing and, and tracking down the sources, if that highlights areas that we can improve in the isolation protocols or, or in other aspects of our response, we'll do so. The November 5th date of when the person was tested in Rankin, were they isolated after that or did they continue to have contact with other people in the community? Again, November 5th isn't the day that this individual was tested. November 5th is the day working backwards from when they, pre when they developed symptoms. November 5th is the day that they uh, became infectious. And most people, when they're first infectious for COVID-19, aren't even aware of it. November 5th, uh, Jordan from IBC. My question is the businesses that have uh, travel plans to the communities like Bell Cove and Rankin and they, can they continue as planned or will that change? Oh, sorry. Um, it would be, um, I very strongly would recommend against travel, non-essential travel into Rankin Inlet at this time until we sort it out. 
because Rankin Inlet serves as a travel hub for the Kivalik region, it's very hard to put the measures that we've put in other communities in place in Rankin Inlet, so uh, we can't be as strict about it. For travel into other communities in the Kivalik region, which requires passing through Rankin Inlet, if it can't be avoided right now, our advice would be if they're if it's like a, a longer layover and they have to spend the night in Rankin Inlet, go straight to the hotel, don't visit, don't socialize, then come straight back and fly on to your, your final destination and then self monitor for fourteen days after uh, leaving Rankin Inlet and, and monitoring is you be very careful about whether or not you develop any symptoms. If you develop symptoms, isolate immediately and contact the hotline number and arrange to get tested. And if you're in a group gathering or anything like that where distancing can't be maintained, wear a mask. my other question is uh, some of the businesses in Nunavut require uh, human interaction in their homes. Can they continue to do business as usual or will that change? Oh, uh, if they, <laughs> sorry, Jordan, I finally got back into the habit. Um, if they, uh, one of the reasons that we left a small number for in most communities for uh, like for tradespeople to go into houses and things like that, that's that's why that number is there. Uh, so if they, if a, a technician needs to go in to repair the heating or plumbing, definitely that that can go ahead. Dustin Batarna, that's the news. So there's a rapid response team in Santa Kilowack, there's a rapid response team in Rankin Inlet. Can you talk a little bit about what our capacity for rapid response teams is? Dustin Pitar, no, not check on Nick Taco at all, not to learn a Moka, you are Hatta to Sanikilo, Mitita, Mata, Kangasin, and Milo, Hanu Tigitako, Hakaning, Aguica, you are to good not to Nitro, not to Leria Haka. It depends on um, how involved uh, the outbreaks are and, and how big the communities and also how many contacts are being traced at, at any one time. There's a number of public health, nervous, public health nurses across the territory who are uh, skilled in contact tracing. They do it as part of their work with other communicable diseases. And we have a group of, um, we have a contract on standby of virtual public health nurses, which is another group of uh, public health nurses who can do contact tracing over the phone. And we can expand. Obviously, that's much easier to expand that group than it is the in-person nurses. At the end of the day, we think we can respond to um, probably three outbreaks, depending upon the size of the communities and those other factors, without having to look for outside help. Maybe more. Sorry. 
tana adjigeng itu hatta mana atau kanu tigi tana seh ma pale asmani ngamal itu gu amalo kanu tigi nuna le yang itu gu mangata tak hat siuning ane asyuk di nuna bumi pijun namne hat seh tu kawi sarung nak tu tika tija minyu junita ma asingin nut seh ma suno ilin nak seh ma mata tak kata kontrak tigo ane kanu tigi gu ane asyuk di nik Kingu bertes saya juga tu ni, atau inau titis simbi juga so loka lau tikko. Kau ini sakat tau nak tu ni kikun ni katis sejumini umata mangata. Kesian ini lekai teh ma pinga sunik emikut tamak kuning atau abang nak tu kui kau juga aktif junik atau inau kau nak tu kui ma siap ma pelai ayo kau nak pinga suninu nalem ni. Well, on the subject of the virtual public health nurses, I'd I'd ask everyone if you're getting contacted by them to please. Um, participate and cooperate with that work. If it can be done over the phone, then it frees up the uh, contact tracing staff that are in community. It makes it easier for them to concentrate on the people who don't have phones or can't access that service. <laughs> Ika yut sa hatta hulugi ilaw hatta yut sa hulugi ukala yut ko ukala yut ko hatta tako katisis si mayon ng kawis sa tut ima tukang tukang kangarum ng hatta kawis sa lutik sulo ukala yut hangit tunyo pa hatta ng hangat ay lani ko. What would it take to release or ease the restrictions that are currently in the Kibbutz and in the Kalawit? Tay makano ilaw ka hatta tamak ko kasuyo ng lagum na hulugi malit tayo ng ilay kibal ng may kalum nilo. We'll revisit that once we feel that the um, COVID-19 in the two communities that's it, that it's in right now, once that's contained or isolated, then we'll revisit public health measures. Question is for Minister Kusugak. <coughs> Mathieu Sarvé, Radio Canada. So, with the closing of restaurants and uh, PPE that are going to be sent, are you going to provide any additional funding related to the new restrictions? Tanah mati sahwi radio kan ada kumni tak kau negeri bima tu jauh semalak tilugi lu tak makau ti mimut sapu mija aku ti nik amalok akan nengah aku kini awak nato yang nak hati cila kasi. Kau yang nama itu apa minggu apa hari kau bit. Taman na tu sa tu selauk tu tigu tu sahap tigu tak kau nengah yang senang mita taman na oka kati kisi maya ka atau seingat itu kau si bulak tinggal kau yang senang me. Tapi kau nengah oka kati kisi blue kau oka kati kisi maya ka tak kau. Kau isang naya kapi tu, siapa mukal dia tu tu, teman naan yang naya yuk. Tapi kani ika yuk tau yang ayak kapata, tap semua ika yuk tau nere yang ada unga tagut, amatam nak kini ayak tu kan nere ayak per, tak kuat kau makut kemer kuni ayak put. Tapi kani lelup tak, kanok teman nak siapa mukal dia naya mangga, kini ayak tu kan nere ayak per. Thank you for the question. I've been in close contact since. Hearing about the COVID case in Rankin uh, and in Sanikilo, uh, but in terms of the uh, Rankin case, I have been uh, in discussion with the mayor of the community to, to keep him uh, updated. But at this time, the, there is no uh, need to uh, put more uh, money into the situation. And if that time should come, uh, then I will definitely have the conversation with with cabinet and and the proper authorities to see what kind of funding and uh, and where we go from there. Next question is for Minister Jonasi. So iPads were supposed to be sent uh, at the beginning of this week. Can you tell us, um, are the schools in Rankin Inlet and Sanikilwat ready to start their uh, courses through the learning packages? 
Takwa risau yang kalah guru di takwa biar di luar tanah pina seorang serba ulat di tahun yang ada kangen senang bosa ni kilamu atau ina ulat kayu ni orang nak luar tanah kau semalu di takwa seni kilang mi tu sarat tak tapi pengapa nak cari tiga orang tak tak kau nengah kalah seorang yang kalah ni tujuh tiga orang tu buat tahun yang seni kilang mu kau jemil aku takwa si maju orang tu seni kilang mi kisah ni tanah mana kangen senang mu Pag nagpadlaga kang nakatataw, tayo ko ati kisa ka si Mayabot, kakasaw siya kalat, tayo ko nga kang sinong magpadlaga kang nang may matataw. Man na, tayo ko alin nakatulog siya kati may nini, pili ka katakasuta, ang malapang na ati bumalilugin, tayo ko ang kautyaw katakun nakatuni, ay din niya ako tiksanin, pili ka titaw kung nang niya mataman nagkut, tayo na ato nagpadlaga kasong niya siya po. The, with the case in Sanikiruak, we have uh, directed devices to date uh, for the community. We've sent uh, a total of 176 devices uh, for Sanikiruak at this time. And right now, we, for Rankin Inlet, we are preparing uh, for uh, getting those devices. Uh, there's, uh, there might be some delays in that, however, we are uh, ex executing our implementation plan, action plan around uh, remote learning. And this includes uh, learning packages that have been prepared to date, as well as uh, uh, work assignments that uh, have been, that can be uh, implemented at this time. And we're working with the DEAs to uh, roll out those implementation plans for the affected communities uh, through, through stage two and four. For who? Uh, Peterson. Uh, Trevor Wright, uh, None of it News. Um, <clears throat> what is the um, current capacity for other Kivalak communities outside of Rangan Inlet for PPE and um, sanitary equipment? Trevor Wright, None of it News. Man, now you're talking to us in the Kangasinu. Kami mahu sapu meja ugu tiga nak tunai salam maksau tini lokan uti ge atau inau tiga ban. In terms of PPE for the health centers, all of the health centers have pretty close to or maybe a little more than two weeks worth of PPE for outbreak response. Tak kau fikir tiga lewe tiga kami mahu sapu meja ugu tiga yoni an ni abe menu nalin ni tak kau mak kau ni pina sarosin ni katu ina harum nat sarah yak tu sarah mak bio yo halam nak kano nalin ni. In terms of masks for non medical uses, off the top of my head, I think there may be as many as. Uh, 10,000 disposable masks, maybe more that ED, that have been donated to communities in the Kivalik region recently, and the de uh, EDT, Department of uh, Economic Development and Tourism, has access to a supply of cloth masks that can be distributed to other communities. So there's a fair amount, and they're working on getting more produced. Tak kau fikir tiga login matu ada mak kau ane asyok tino atuk tau dia tu ni tu tak kau kau maya ngagut ten thousand nik atau nak tak hak tu tak mak kau nengah ikan gaul jo ni matu ane nik hak kau nengah ngagut tau tak kau tu ni jauh jo hak semua memang mesok tau semua jo ni kival leh me kival leh jo leh jekul ni kaya leh jekul lo sana tu cilang ngata tak mak kau nengah nengah aja jo nik sulit atau nak hak kau nengah tu hak kau nengah ngagut. Rankin being a a travel hub. Are other flights that are able to be diverted to other communities? Is that being considered, or? Tana kanya senior tu tapay ulay mahanga tahatat tuno tako ay sumat sa siyog tehas yohas mawa asya ko tatch mong ako sa kaya tungil lodi. It's an option, but it's not being considered at this time because of those impacts on the common travel area and and other aspects of it. Tak nak lagi aku tahu juga luar mana yang kisah ini semak saksi kita untuk asing ini tujuh tiga orang kita.
Uh, Kent Driscoll, EPTN National News. Uh, Dr. Patterson, I'm wondering about medical travelers returning to Rankin Inlet. Uh, is there any delay on them leaving Winnipeg? Kent Driscoll, EPTN, Kumnik Luta Patterson, Takwala, Nabila, Sima Yurkan, Sina Motor, Realita, Quaking over Rata, Sima. There's no mandated delay at this point, but if people uh, want to stay longer, to wait to settle, let things settle out, or to not go into a house where somebody's isolating, they're, they've been given the option to stay at the hubs. And just quickly, that counts for uh, ranking patients in a Kaluid as well? As soon as I said that, I thought, I wonder if we gave them that message. I'll have to check. Sorry. And I just want to go back to my previous question about uh, travel history for the Rankin patient. One of your major reasons was uh, you want to focus on stopping the spread of COVID-19 as opposed to dealing with the travel history. I'm wondering how does telling the travel history distract from the effort to stop COVID-19? Talking about it contributes to the shame, blame, and the rumor mill, and the work needed right now to figure out exactly how uh, individuals acquired it um, for purposes of discussing in forums like this takes away from our work. And in other jurisdictions in the South, when people have disclosed uh, details of travel history and tried to um, apply blame, it's led to some disastrous results with people getting harassed, people getting uh, threatened with physical violence and all those sorts of things. And I don't want to contribute to it and I don't want to go public with information until we're certain that we know what happened and can figure it out and then say these are the lessons that will apply to it. I'm the change of the Canadian press. Um, the GN says there's 1,000 non-medical masks available uh, for distribution in Rankin. How do people get those masks? I'm a trying to Canadian press go in order of government go go have some of the 1,000 of the attack on but they were eager go you can only know that on a kick to talk on a matter of time on the matter queen of your career go with us in a talk or a twin now of the town you have to go for a tiki similar could them may you know can you know me to say see my you take what people they will read go to know the seminary young in Nick um, what you had to suck, suck, how we bloom, that could calm me, could I miss some more? I didn't know the generic motor tamacuning, but one near new recutting. Ilang in at we know the tosimal to never bring Coopacuno, never tino to Ilios, him of Dutic, Kisiani, Okakati, Blue, May, young Akanyas, the new, they could travel not to laying it, Tanyasin or me, Captory could take what thou, Arctic town near me. Thank you. A uh, very good question. Uh, actually, this morning in my conversations with the mayor of Rankin Inlet, 
Uh, we had discussed how are we going to distribute masks. Uh, I understand we've got a couple thousand masks coming also from the uh, Khmer, uh, is just contributing uh, quite a few masks for the community, uh, and also the, the thousand that you mentioned. In our conversation with the mayor, uh, it came clear that uh, uh, there will be some masks available at both the uh, Northern Store and the Co-op, but more importantly, uh, the mayor had said that uh, he will work with the uh, Rankin and the Fire Department and ambulatory service and that they will set it up so that if there are people who would like some masks delivered, then they would be helping in distributing that uh, through the municipal office. Manitoba officially moved to code red this morning. Um, I know there's been discussions about medical travel for Kibbalik residents to uh, Manitoba and maybe changing some non-essential travel. Can you tell me, um, has there been any more conversation about um, medical travelers to Manitoba now that they're in Code Red? There's been um, there's been an ongoing effort to review the uh, visits or the appointments that the reasons people are heading south, um, and that's carried out by Dr. Francois Devet, territorial chief of staff, because he covers the acute care uh, side of things. There have been some cancellations or postponements, but uh, some are still continuing. We haven't heard yet which or uh, which services are going to be outright cancelled, but they're, um, the majority at this point are fairly urgent. Urgent? Urgent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Luta Francois Duveita na kama yoyo ana hana ngitulere na muluta marik ilangi taka kuya na tosi ma yoyo la hatu halu na na hana bila glutik ilangi la la hatu tu na na tu taka lu ilangi na la pejit sirau tu yoyo nukhatu tu na manga ta pila hatu mitu a vuna tu pejit tu luti taka suli a la hatu na na tu Jackie McKay, CBC News. Uh, my questions are for David Joanesi. What is the status of the EDSB program and is it up and running yet? What program? EDSB, the online. Dana Jackie McKay, CBC, Kunahan, Ilina Lakatan, Espion, Rato, Ilina Rotitso, Yang Casimayun. Dana Harato, Kulina Rotitso, Nongato, Atuina Roximal to Malotaqua, Edisa, you would Ilina Pilar, you pretty much to tell your cement to the Anatora Hamanga. Dan atuk tahu nak si si mama tak kunung a pilih waktu mereka sana keluar malu kangen senang mereka kuah harga saya juga tinggi tak kun tak si mama tak kunung si jun. As far as I'm concerned, the SP platform it's ready to go on. It's ready for use. All our teachers and educators staff have been trained in the platform and. Uh, it's ready to be used, and particularly for Sanikulok, and uh, uh, where we sent the devices as well as rank and inlet for those that have uh, per perhaps personal computers uh, at this time, um, we'll be able to use the platform as soon as possible. Thank you. The online uh, devices. Can you give a number of how many um, there are, and do we have enough in case all the community? Uh, in case that uh, more schools have to close. Taku harisa ya kuli nero nero tio yuta ku harisa ya kala na hatsi wat ambalu na maga ya kaili nero be asingi matukan nero kala unukata. Eh kuli nero mi taku three thousand new versi maga luagata tiki saya si maga luagata kisah ni tamang mi tiki si mangi mata otak kedu tayang ini kisah ni mana okarun nak tunga kangen senang mi do senikiruang mi. Jadi nak terus terharap tak 
The man he didn't have to do elementary school meet to 420 or lutti. A maro hotin not semi, a kuning in it to the maro hotin not semi to 553 or lutti. He didn't have to do that. Takwa, uh, a two lot four meter luta stage four meter lutti takwa, uh, Taman Narona Sima, uh, Takwa, Harasa Jacolina, Atura Halumata. Kesiannya, orang orang nak semua tu tak kuat. Tama ini, emak kah harga saya akan kuti. Tama kunangga angin kau tiga saya unit. Pada kerja tahu kat tahun enam enam mata ini aku tiga. We have for Rankin and Sunny Kiloak number of elementary school students is four hundred and twenty, and middle school and high school is five hundred and fifty three. That said, we have purchased. 3,000 devices, and of course, they're on order. We don't have uh, in our possession all 33,000 devices. So we've sent out uh, the batch to Sanikiluak and we're awaiting uh, the next uh, shipment for Rankin Inlet. However, again, uh, we do have the learning uh, packages that can be used for home, and uh, those again would be assessed and uh, for uh, some people that might have to use the platform uh, using personal devices, we ask that uh, you do so and uh, support our children's learning in stage four. Dustin Patarn, Anatsiak News. I was wondering if you could give a status on the update for the custodial training and PPE for schools. Say that again. If you could give a, an update on the status of the custodian training for schools. Dustin Petarno, not Seco Neo, how is it not good? That go ahead, um, Hanilang Alamata Salom Marsay and Illinois, the city of Tusimayo. A Dakwa, uh, the man needed near Vilut, um, Salom Marsay to New York to October to Lugu, Dakwa Illuricarok to, uh, Kanima de Cutini, the Maro. Tama ko nang kapag kapag wag jum ni toko toko sa juti ni matuwag ni namaro sa lumak sa ji sa lumak sa juti ko hatak tingin ni tunisia ora ko juti tako ro hakan niya ko tuman na tunisia ko nang ko nang niya ang mga tao kanya sinong mit tama ko aso ko timimi sa pumit juti kani magjet ko sa ko yaktun matuwag to balon ni kina kait ano ba at uh, all, all schools have received uh, cleaning supplies as of October, and this included illness response kits, bulk hand sanitizers, disposable masks, and custodial supplies. Uh, that is a mix of different things with that, but additional per protection, uh, personal protection equipment will be sent to both Kanukhsin and our school staff in Sandikiruak to support uh, distribution of learning packages, for example. And this includes face masks, uh, gloves, and gowns. And so those are all in, as part of it. How oh, many questions for Dr. Patterson? So there were 11 people initially identified in Santa Kilowack, 27 also were tested, they were all negative. How many are in progress and what's the step, like what's the timeline that you're looking at for the community? Tako katiya menu yu ilawan ngun lak tau sa mayo kao yusak tau sa mayo sa ni kilo may malokakan ni gagutuwa ni saban tako kano yung lakad. I don't know the number of people that will have swabs collected today. That's decided at an outbreak meeting that I'm actually think is happening right now. Um, the timeline for getting those results, most of them would be collected this afternoon and they'll be flown to uh, Cal from Santa Kilowack from a Cal uh, pardon me, from Santa Kilowack they'll be flown here for analysis and we'd probably have results later tonight. Um, Kesan yang hangat kau rajam nih, ulu me, ulu nusak kau nua tau lalu dia ulu lak dia ulu lak tu sani kilo me ikhalun nut, ulu gakkan ni kau ye langa yugu sakit tau yuni. Kau yang me yuri, nukangin nipin ni naik tu me yuk aku juga mabdunga, 
Takbani ani aku lagi kerja kun sibuk lagi tinggok ti tau lagi tulung. Ami semua kerja tu apa kerja tu sibuk muk pada yang mata. Oka rumah yang aku minga, tamak kuah sakit pada yang galak tulung. Sakit tulung lagi lah tan nubak juang nak kengit senang mi seni kiluar milu. Inu katika ulogai sungil luta, wim mak daily luta, ama sibuk muk. Ini kerja aku juga lakukan dengan nak katib ni. Oka aku mabuk dengan luta aku premium lagi apda ma itu aku sayur juga apda. Oka aku sekarang kau yang itu hilang ini. Just a few words before we sign off. As the new minister of health, many things have happened very quickly in a very short time. I would just like to reiterate how important it is that through these challenging times, the most important thing at the moment is please do not panic. And it's important that we, we move forward and be cautious, but let's not panic. Tamakwa isumaro to get kungi karoch to get kinau manga, kanopinir manga, kanoglu, nakingala manga, tamakwa to sagia sangni, ulorea nakse yun nang mata, tamana atungi lutigu galoa. Please stop guessing about who, what, where, when, and how this happened. Let's focus more on what we need to do to stop the spread. Let's use common sense and follow the public health measures, limit visiting, wear a mask. Keep washing your hands and coughing into your elbow and stay calm. If you do not need to travel and it's not necessary to travel, please don't travel. Let's focus on our community of Rankin Inlet and Senekiloa instead of ourselves. Let's, let's keep calm. Uh, Atung ni jom ina ya kap tigo, atuk nak tabu maligun nak tabu malila ulabu, ugla kalau ak tayli luta, kita mak kuninga matuang ni atuk luta, agabut yang nak tak luti ut, ikusip tinut kuek tok pag luta, ama kui mak tayli luta, inge kaya kaya kang ni kupta, asing inununa lingnut, inge kaya ni kalau kta, tak kuak kang yak sini atuk kaya kak tengi seni kilo ulu, atuk ngalau ulabu mana. Ama tu abang nak tulur lagi, pilih lagi yang kayak tu lu pilih lagi mata, naya nguat isuak saya inul lagi itu, pilih lagi mana pilih lagi kayak tu lu itu, ikan yuk tu ngar lu tu, suku ngil tu tu, aksa om nak tu pilih lagi tu lu itu, pilih lagi kat itu cila ulu bot, nuna kat itu cia om nak tu, taman nasi bumbuk pilih lagi tu tu tak guna. I ask also with the critical workers, the frontline workers, and the social workers in our communities, please. Let's be patient, let's be kind, and let's be nice to each other through these trying times. We can beat this, and we will. Thank you very much.